Hello! In this tutorial, we are going to see how to get started with Camly Store. That is, how to build the Camly Store project and to generate some configuration and finally how to just start Camly Store. The first thing you want to do is to go in your Camly Store source tree, which is conveni conveniently placed in my home. Like this, you can see all the contents of the tree. And provided you have the Go tools properly in installed, the only thing you have to do now is to run go run make.go to build a project like this. It might take a bit longer for you because I already have most of the packages built here to make this faster and simpler. And optionally what you might what you could do later if you want to build only Camly Store is to use the targets flag where you can specify like this a standard standard go path cam store like this which would build only the Camly store server this way and it's done come on okay as it says here the binaries are placed in that slash bin, as you can see, the command line tools and can be stored. And now the only thing you have to do is to run can be stored this way. Since I didn't specify it otherwise, it's opening by default a new tab in my browser here for the can store UI. And as you can see, of course it is empty for me because I don't ha I didn't upload any blobs to my Camry Store server. Okay, let's go back to this output, shall we? As you can see here, it says that it generated a default configuration file for me because I didn't have one, as well as a new GPG key in a new sec ring with this key ID, and it placed everything in this default dot uh, config camry store directory in my home on Linux that is so let's have a look at this configuration file here and you can see that it contains a bunch of default values for some more or less obvious parameters that you can configure and you can ask on the mailing list if you have any trouble or look at look at our online documentation and I won't get into that right now now, the second thing that you might want to do is to do the same thing for the client tools. And the way to do that is to use camput init. Camput can do a lot of other things, which I won't get into right now. And the, the one we want to do is camput init. And as you can see, it says again that it generated a new configuration file, but for the, the client this time in the same directory and it reused the key ID that it previously generated for me when it was doing the server. We can have a quick look at this configuration <laughs> Sorry, configuration file. And again, you see a bunch of default parameters which are easily configurable. Have fun!